Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this Halo font. Now, this Halo font right here is the very first Halo uh, game from the first Halo game that is, which is the Combat Evolved one. Now, a YouTuber asked me to create this uh, font, but I don't know what kind of font he wanted because there's like three game, three games out, or don't know how many games out, and there's like loads of different fonts. Um, and textures for this sort of style so this see how this one matches up to the original so if we hop over to here now this is the one I created right here and this is the original from the game now as you can see it's pretty damn good it um, scales up pretty good to it so to make this sort of font let's uh, skip back over to here I'm gonna hide that font right there now first things first is you're going to be wanting to download the font from uh, the website so let's have a look uh, right here it's called the font halo um, I'll put a link in the description bar if you can't find it uh, in the description bar or whatever uh, you can also just download the pack from my website that I'll give you so if we jump back over to Photoshop right so I have the font already loaded into Photoshop now if you don't know how to do that you just download the font you go into control panel you find your fonts where it's all listed and then you copy and paste it into there and then it's all done so we're gonna go and click the font uh, sorry the text tool right here click there now you can have it whatever size you want depending on the size of your picture that you want to put it into um, I'm just gonna put this at 300 it really doesn't matter then we're going to go put halo now um, I put mine in uppercase because that's how it's done in the original so let's go here now don't forget that you want this to be in white not any other color because we're going to put the textures and everything into it so we're going to double click that layer like that and we're going to go to gradient overlay now from here we're going to go to gradient click that we're going to hit that little black icon there and press color and we're going to go down to here to select our color now the color I select is 4D 7-0-A-A and then click OK click OK again and then we're going to go to bevel and emboss now we're going to select inner bevel the technique is going to be chisel hard and then we're going to go for a size of 3 and then we're going to go down to angle now we're going to put the angle at minus 127 and altitude 30 the highlight um, mode is going to be white left on screen opacity 75 the shadow mode we're going to keep on multiply opacity 75 but we're going to change the color and the color is going to be 77a 19f so if you didn't get that that was 77a 19f and then click OK click uh, on inner glow and we're going to go keep that on screen we're going to bring the opacity down to 70 we're going to change the color to A A E D C D uh, 1 that was it and then click OK and we're going to change the contour to this little curved one right here click o, click that one and then we're going to go to outer glow then we're going to keep on screen 75 we're going to change the size to 3 we're going to change the color to black then click OK on that one and then click OK again and then there you go that is the font um, ready to use easy simple and it looks totally effective now if you do match it up to the original sometimes um, what I did change on this one right here is I did change the white 
just here to a like a cream because as you can see it's not pure white on here so if you did want to do that we're just going to double click that layer again and we're just going to go to the gradient overlay going to go click on the gradient and we're going to change the white to a like a cream color so if you did want to choose that you could go the cream color um, note would be F4 E C E C that's what you put in to get that darker color which I don't want that so I'm going to keep it as a white now that's the first font and I'll see you in my next video for the next kind of font bye for now